Hey sewing friends, Jen here with a quick demonstration showing how I was able to quilt with an embroidery machine. We'll be using the Brother PE800 embroidery machine. I have an entire playlist of videos on how to use it, different projects I've done, and common questions. Recently I was shopping Etsy for some new designs and noticed a few listings for quilt blocks which I found intriguing. So I bought a few of them and wanted to experiment with the files. The embroidery software I feature is called Embrilliance Essentials and I like it because it's pretty easy to navigate. This is a square grid quilt pattern and it comes in several different sizes. Because I'm working with a five by seven inch hoop, I ended up importing the two and a half inch block size and copy pasting it to fill up as much space as possible. Although I did have to squeeze the block slightly to get them to fit. Then I saved this project as a new embroidery file. I have a separate video explaining this. I'll link it above and in the description box. Normally you don't have to match your thread and bobbin colors, but since these stitches will be visible on the back, I did use the same thread. It's glide 40 weight thread in the color mint. Time to hoop the fabric and batting. This is basic quilting cotton and cotton batting. In hindsight, I'm wondering if I should have added a layer of thin stabilizer, but it seemed to work out all right. To keep everything together, I applied temporary spray adhesive in between the layers. Not gonna lie though, hooping was difficult because the quilt sandwich is very thick. I had to loosen the outer hoop screw a lot. Here's what the design looks like in the machine. I was blown away at how fast the design stitches out. It would take so much longer to quilt this same pattern on my regular sewing machine. Plus all of the stitching is totally uniform. The only downside is now I wish I had a bigger hoop size. I did take the time to cut jump stitches as each block started, but that wasn't too big of a deal. The contrast between the fabric and thread looks so cool, and this opens up the door for so many possibilities for projects. If you have a bigger hoop, you can quilt panels for stuff like zipper pouches or small bags. I quilted two hoops and trimmed them down to make panels. Then I tried out another five inch block using a couple scrap pieces of fabric sewn together and it turned into a really quick coaster project. Down in the comments, feel free to share your embroidery machine tips. Thanks for watching. I'm Jen with The Sewing Report and remember, whatever you're doing, make it fun.